Road is situated 45 miles west of Dublin in the county of Offaly. Our energy is derived from the burning of milled peat, our native This peat is harvested from the bogs of counties Leash, Offaly, Kildare and Westmead. Some 12,000 acres of bog is used and this forms part of the great historical range known as the Bog of Allen. This process provides employment for approximately 160 people from within a 30 mile radius with Mr. Pat Trainer as our station manager. Hello and welcome to ESB Road Generating Station. This year we're celebrating 33 years of electricity production in Road and we're glad to have you to join us in that celebration. I hope you find your tour both interesting and educational. So now I'll leave you in the capable and safe hands of my colleagues. Enjoy yourself thoroughly while you are here. The station was built in 1959 and commissioned in 1960 and located on a 65-acre site. It then consisted of two 20,000 kilowatt boiler turbine units. Three years later, a 40,000 kilowatt boiler turbine unit was added, bringing our total capacity to 80,000 kilowatts. Heat is supplied to the station by narrow gauge railway. Each wagon holds approximately five tons. The tippler operator controls the pulling in and emptying of each wagon. Twelve to fifteen of these wagons are coupled together to form what is known as a rake. The empty wagons are rejoined by the local and returned to the bog for refilling. The peat is transferred from the tippler to storage chambers, which are known as bunkers, by a series of conveyor belts.
The bunkers are situated near the top of the station. On full load, the station burns approximately 2,000 tonnes of peat daily. The total bunker capacity is 1,000 tonnes, and about 580,000 tonnes is used annually. As required, peat is drawn off from the bottom of the bunkers by a carrier chain and free falls to the awaiting mill. Hot gases are drawn off from the top of the combustion chamber and pass through the mill to blend with peat which has been pulverised by the impact and friction action of the mill. The peat, now as fine dust, mixed with hot gases, are blown back up and enters the boiler at the fuel burners. This internal view of the combustion chamber, taken in an offload situation, shows the water tube arrangement and framework. Temperatures of 1070 degrees Celsius are reached by instantaneous combustion of the peat dust under normal working conditions. Water is fed continuously to the boiler tubes using a high pressure pump. This operation of burning peat to produce high pressure steam requires round the clock monitoring, adjustment and control. Steam at a temperature of 512 degrees Celsius and a pressure of 65 kg per centimetre cubed is transferred from the top of the boiler to enter the turbine at the throttle valve. This is a section of actual turbine blading. In this illustration, we show the cooling tower, the turbine, the turbine blade, the condenser, the CW pump, and the extraction pump. This is two independent cycles. We start with the steam entering the turbine, hitting the turbine blading, creating rotation. As the steam is exhausted, it is drawn down around the condenser tubes and into the hot well. This is a view of the condenser, showing the outlet and inlet. On the cooling cycle, the cooling water is pumped by the CW pump, through the condenser tubes, and back out to the towers. The warm water from the condenser enters the bridge, common to both towers. The water flows around the outer edge of the tower and is fed into the centre by radial tubes fitted with sprinklers. This spray, falling through the layers of lats, is cooled by natural draft created by the design of the tower. The cooled water returns to the condenser to continue the cycle. 
Water for this operation is supplied from the Yellow River. Our turbine is directly coupled to the generator and driven at a speed of 3000 resulting in a three-phase alternating voltage. Electricity is produced by rotating a magnet within a coil. This produces a voltage which causes the light to glow. All generating protection and controls are under constant surveillance of a control room operator. Voltage, frequency and power factor are just some of the parameters requiring careful monitoring. Electricity is produced by the turbine generator at 10,500 volts and fed through a buzz bar to the generating transformer. Her voltage is stepped up to 38,000 volts and 110,000 volts for feeding into the national grid. Road is connected to the national grid at Tullamore and Minute. Electricity is generated using the highest possible safety standards, but generating stations have their own inbuilt hazards. He's one up behind me. I didn't see him. He jumped out and got him. He was my best mate. He was stupid. He wouldn't come down. He didn't know electricity would go through the kite. He just jumped through thin air. He never touched the wire. He never touched it. No, Darren! Darren? How did he get in? Darren! This way! Tom! Darren! Darren! No, Tom! We wish you, your family and friends, a very safe and safe station. Thank you.